So welcome, ladies and uh, gentlemen. We are back today. We are talking about eFootball. I know it's been a while, but there is an update coming out. So we're going to very, very quickly talk about that. And uh, also uh, an update coming out for EAFC 24 as well, if you guys are playing that. But yeah, I haven't been playing a whole lot, as you guys know. So let me know honestly in the comments, you know, how is eFootball? Like, how is the current state of the game? Because as I mentioned, I haven't played this game in months. And I really probably am not going to play this game until some offline content comes out. So, you know, I know there are people like that, like myself, that are waiting. And we continue to wait, Konami. We continue to get your ass in gear. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's go over some of the details regarding this update. Now, this is coming out in December. Uh, there's no actual, like, talk of the league mode that we kind of covered. Remember, we had some sources and people saying they knew what was coming. Well, they haven't mentioned anything about it. So, as of right now, we don't know. We're going to wait and see. Um, so, here is the information. So, they're going to be introducing co-op PvP. I still have yet to play co-op. So, but I know it's a little bit of fun and people do enjoy obviously playing with the mates. Bit of three versus three action. So, uh, yeah, co-op will be added to events. You can casually participate on your own or team up with friends to play against other teams. So, yes, yeah, so you can do, I'm guessing you can play with the AI. Can you? As I mentioned, I haven't played it, but if you can, let me know. Uh, next up, we've got renew contracts with GP. Uh, so in addition to the existing contract renewals of 60 days and contract renewals of 10 days, users will be able to renew player contracts using GP. That's actually probably quite a big one, as what she said, because we all have a lot of GP, probably. Don't know how much you guys are using of it, but uh, yeah, the renewals of the contracts will be much easier because you can use the GP. Uh, changes to the number of unskippable goal celebrations. So in online matches, the number of times a user can perform an unskippable goal celebration will be limited to once per match. Don't know what it was before. Um, but now, yeah, you've got uh, one, one, one match. So I'm watching Man United at the same time I'm doing this video. It's 3-3. It's ridiculous because Unana can't save anything um but yeah anyway so they've added this are uh, you they're, they're limiting the amount of times you can do the whole goal celebration i mean no one no one cares you know what i mean you score a goal half the time i don't even watch my celebrations, so i just skip them but you know i can understand it uh, more information we provided at the timing of the update uh, and then we also have a part deuce um with regards to the eFootball league revamp so various changes and adjustments will be made, uh, including a review of the matchmaking system and an expansion of the rating system to cover more divisions. So that's all we're getting right now. eFootball League revamp. No talk of the league mode. Uh, and also Dream Team in training. Users will be able to play the training mode with Dream Team players. I just feel like all these updates... They're so minute, like you could have added these at any time. I mean, Dream Team in training, that should have been added at launch, really. You know what I mean? It's training. It's training. Just use your team in training. So yeah, it's like they're trying to make these, oh, we've added these additions. Yeah, Konami, but you, you, you should have had these in the game a long, long time ago, right? There's still no talk of any offline content. There's still no talk about edit mode. There's still no talk about Master League. And I know they're not going to say anything about it because it will get people all excited. And then, you know, who knows? You could be waiting another year and a half before we get any information. Uh, users will be able to play training mode with Dream Team players. More information will be provided with the timing of the update. Moving forward, we will continue to operate the game with references to users' opinions and ignore everyone else's opinions. Yes, we know, Konami. So there we have it. That's pretty much the updates coming in December. I believe it's December 7th, which will be on a Thursday, um, but nothing mental. So let me know your thoughts about that. Percy for myself, as I said, like I, I just feel like a lot of these updates should have been added. You don't even need to tell us about it. Just add it to the game, right? Because there's not enough content in the game as it is. So um, 
there we are. So let me know your thoughts about that as always. Um, I did want to actually go through and uh, talk very f quickly. I was sort of looking at Unana. What's he on? Huh? You guys see the saves he did against uh, Galatasaray? I mean, come on, Unana. He was actually doing better. And then two free kicks, not even good free kicks. Bang, average free kicks get put in the back of the net because he's not paying attention. Um, so, yes, pathetic. So, yeah, we're just going to scroll through very, very quickly. This week's boosted. I mean, I haven't even tried any of this. Once again, how is this going for you guys? And I used to, like, this is the thing. I used to cover all the news regarding eFootball. But with me, as you guys know, if I'm not interested in something and I lose interest, I'm not going to cover it. It's like EAFC and FIFA or FIFA. Used to cover that a lot more. Couldn't give a monkeys about it because I just feel like these games are all declining. They're actually going backwards as opposed to evolving and getting any better. So, yeah, that's why I kind of stopped doing news updates because they're just not worth it. Um, you've got the player of the week returns. You know, again, it's all the same. It's recycled. It's recycled. And guess what? It's more recycled stuff. Uh, there is Hernandez losing his hair. That's probably my one big thing. I do not want to lose my hair. I know that thumbnail got you guys. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we don't want to be losing our hair. Uh, and there is the update coming December, as we just mentioned. Um, I mean, I'll take that Ganacho card if that was actually true. Ganacho's been a beast. Absolute beast. Um, so there we go. Nothing mental. And uh, yeah, some Pez 21 stuff as well. Right. Now, moving on very, very quickly, just to let you guys know, if you are playing, obviously, the uh, update for FC24, uh, the UEFA Euro 2024 is in the club. So what they're going to be doing is adding it. Where is the trailer that they had? Right here. Let's watch this trailer. So we're not going to worry about the audio. Um, but yeah, a very quick trailer. It's a bit big, isn't it? It's a bit big in the face. So yes, can't even see the ball. There we go. So you got La Spagna. Apparently they didn't show France in this trailer, if you notice. Maybe because France is in the Konami game called eFootball. So yeah, play now and get a UEFA Euro 2024 item. If you would like to get one of those. Now this is going to be coming out in the summertime. I believe when it actually drops, uh, is welcoming the European Championships to the World Game this summer uh, with a full Euro 24 tournament experience at no additional cost. And then there's a couple of hashtag signs. What does that mean? Bruno Fernandes has just hit the post. Mental. Um, yeah, so it will be the official platform as we know. Uh, the E Euro will be an annual tournament program and they've got their eSports stuff played by January 16th. Um, it does say here is available for pre-order, but I'm pretty sure the game's been out now for a few months. So, yeah, you might want to update that EA and change it to available now. So there we go. Let me know if you guys will be playing that. But there we go. That is it for today, folks. It's very short and sweet and to the point-ish. Um, but let me know your thoughts. You were playing eFootball. Are you? Are you not? Does it interest you? Does it not? Uh, and then you've got, you know, a free update coming for FC24. Remember, Konami used to have the license or the UEFA license when we had the Champions League, the Super Cup, the UEFA, the World Cups. They lost those rights. Not that they really did anything with them, but I used to enjoy playing the tournament. So I don't know. Maybe if, if this does come out in the summertime and there's a proper tournament, I'll do a little bit of a playthrough for a bit of fun because this game might be cheaper then. And, uh, you know, we'll have a laugh with it. But I'm not spending money on it if I don't want to play it. Anyway, we will be back. We will continue with the Master Leagues. Remember, I will be recording those uh, generally on the weekends and I put them out in the week. A couple of episodes a week, folks, is really all I can do. I wish I could do more. But I'm just busy, you know. And one day, one day, maybe. But we'll see. Anyway, until next time, subscribe for more and take care.